Alright, so the next complex of apartments. And, uh, usually in these I choose to go left first, so I guess we'll stick to tradition. This needs to be opened. And uh, we'll crack open this door here to start with. Uh -huh. Earth, you know the deal. Open it up. On it. It's open. Thanks. Yes? Got a family here. Don't! Don't hurt my family! Look, just take Look, what man, you want and get out! Wasn't planning on it. We're with, uh... Would he tell them that he's with the Republic? I remember when a person didn't have to worry about thieves Probably rummaging not. through their home. You ain't supposed to be here! This ain't your home! You ain't supposed to be using bad grammar like that. You are not supposed to be here, or you're not. We've got a med pack, a computer spike, and one credit. Well, every little bit helps. And, uh, that's fine. Can we actually get a view from in here? Kinda. Hey, kid. Where are you going? Is you one of the Sith? No. My daddy says the Sith are nothing but bullies. You don't look like a bully. Not a bully. Not yet. I think we found our party. Uh, it's kind of interesting. Um, there's two ways that you can go about gaining access to the lower city in this game. Now, one is by talking to Sarna in the bar, she invites you to a party party, obviously, and, uh, and you can steal their Sith uniforms. The other way, if you don't do that, if you don't talk to Sarna in the bar, uh, if you come by here, you'll get into a, an encounter with, uh, I believe it's an Athorian or some, some sort of alien who's being hassled by the Sith again, and you can, you can save him. And then I think that's, that gives you light side points, and I specifically avoided that because I didn't want any more light side points. I already felt like... I already feel we're drifting a little too too far into good good guy territory. So I wanted to keep it relatively gray as much as I could anyway. So I picked the one that would not give me light side points, but give me the same result. I also like the party better. I think it's just more it's more interesting than having to always save somebody. You know, variety being the spice of life. Anyway. You know, we never did find any booze, but let's go in. Hey, you made it. I was beginning to wonder if you were going to show. The party's in full swing. Got Come some on dueling in. You to have do. to try this Teresian ale. Oh, it's yeah? fantastic. We should have conquered this planet ages ago. Careful, Sana. That wine's got quite the kick. A couple more bottles and we'll all be passed out on the floor. Who cares? We're not on duty tomorrow. Let's live a little. Come on, drink up. Oh, yeah. News in the Upper City North today uh, of a mass suicide happening. <laughs> this is this is totally how uh, drunkenness happens, right? Everyone just passes out simultaneously before we're even in the door. I might add, man, that's some strong shit. Anyway, uh, Sarna, let's make sure she's not like face down in a pool of her own vomit or something. Party goer, party go goer, for you. Do any of you have anything on you? I can't remember, honestly. Yun Genda, you're actually named. That doesn't look like it. You're all still technically alive, so I can't loot you. Garth? <laughs> you think maybe we better steal what we have to steal and then get out of here, right? Computer spikes, parts, credits. Take all that. That's good stuff. And these here are the uniforms. Sith armor. Get items. Experience points received. 300. Huzzah! Okay, so defense bonus is 2. Max dexterity bonus is plus 8. This full body armor could be used to fool people into thinking the wearer was one of the Sith. That's going to be really useful. This might be Telemachus's ticket into the lower city, he thinks. Alright. 
really though, um, that bag should contain at least two uniforms, because Karth has to come with us. That's okay, I suppose. Not an open apartment here, I guess this one must be abandoned, or maybe just a common... No, it, it actually has a bed in it. So, uh, med pack, parts, credits, good stuff, basic loot. Stay out of the lower city. That place is overrun with gangs. You know, if I don't go down there, the game's plot won't progress. So, I'm afraid I can't do that. Hello, sir. I heard the Sith are sending salvage teams down to the Undercity to recover those Republic escape pods. So there are escape pods in the Undercity. That's good to know. Got a chest in here, another one. Peter Spike med pack credits. Standard loot. It's kind of like preparing us for what's to come, I suppose. Some random food lying on the floor, you know, as you do. I like the lighting coming in off of these these apartments. You're the same guy we talked to, I suppose. Got another locked door and a woman. Miss. Taurus used to be a nice place before the Sith showed up and started bossing us around. I believe it. Well, not really. Alright, folks. I think that this is the last um, apartment in the complex, and that means that there is someone in particular behind here. It's going to be a quest, and um, during this quest I'm going to take some time to talk about something that happened uh, last episode. Something I think I could have done better, and uh, let's go ahead and break in. Ready. that. On it. It's open. Thank you, Karth. Yes? Let me just go in there and uh, loot the foot locker first, I suppose. Some credits, parts, computer spike, standard gear. And uh, we have a man in here named Largo. So, I guess I'll save the game right here. Largo? Please, please don't hurt me. You don't have to kill me. I'll have Davik's money if he if he just gives me a little more time. Please, I don't want to die. Whoa, 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 whoa. Here, slow down. I've got fifty credits on me. That's all I've got. It's yours. Just don't tell Davik where I'm hiding, okay? I'm begging you. Don't worry, man. I'm not gonna hurt you. I'm not here to hurt you. You mean? You're not here to kill me? No. But I, I thought you were one of Davik's bounty hunters. If you're not here to kill me, what do you want? Okay, so... Maybe I could help you with your problem with Davik. I don't think anyone can help me. I owe Davik money, and I was late with the payment. So he went to Zach's in the bounty office and put a price on my head. I've been hiding here ever since. But sooner or later, someone will find me. Unless I somehow come up with another 200 credits. I'm a dead man. So, here's the problem I'm having with potentially helping Largo here. Um, you recall last episode, uh, Telemachus saved a merchant who was about to be dragged off to certain doom by a pair of bounty hunters. He killed the bounty hunters, and the merchant was extremely grateful. That is not a decision that I regret making as a player. That is something perfectly in line with what Telemachus would do. He would not allow a man who is crying out for help to be taken away and murdered. That's not who he is as a character. That's unacceptable to him. Um, the problem is, is that I took it one step further and did something that I don't believe Telemachus would have done, and uh, that would that would be bailing out that merchant after learning about his dad. Now, the justification I made at the time is a person who makes poor life choices and is killed because of that life choice never has a chance to change after he learns his lesson. And that's true, but I also think I probably could have justified 
the actions, his actions better. And even if I can't, um, I have to recognize that I, as a player, I'm not perfect, and neither is my character capable of perfectly applying his own principles in every situation. He's still a human being, and he's still going to be moved by emotion sometimes. Maybe he saw, because that old man was as old as his father, you know, maybe he saw a bit of his father in him and considered that this man has a wife and probably a family, and it would be terrible if he was murdered, you know. So he, he went against his principles. He paid for the... <laughs> it was reckless charity, but at the same time, Telemachus has to keep in mind he would have kicked himself afterwards. He's on a hostile world, and he just gave somebody a tenth of his money. And he doesn't know if he would have needed that money to save Bastila, or to prevent Karth and him from being killed in some situation. The Sith are looking for them. He can't afford to be making these type of mistakes, and part of it maybe is because um, he's, he's nobility. He's not used to having to worry about money. Um, he's become a lot more responsible than he was in his youth in terms of management and whatnot, or uh, administration, we'll say, you know, taking on his father's role, managing his estate. But um, he hasn't had long enough for it to occur to him that money is is an object now. It's not of it's it's not of no consequence anymore. He doesn't have access to any of his accounts, and he can't just give it away. Uh, lastly, the issue the, the issue with Largo particularly, it doesn't have I don't have any option to ask him what is the debt for. You know, did you take it out so you could go gambling? Did you borrow money from Davik to uh, pay for your wife's cancer treatment? Like I don't know. And that might affect whether I'd want to help him or not, but I, I really can't do that just knowing. The, the very last point is I know, as a player, out of character knowledge, if I kill this guy right now, he's going to have like 130 credits on him. Um, that's... and he's asking for 200 credits. So, like, what does he... what is, is the debt for 300 and... 30 credits? Is that what it is? Or is he actually trying to take Telemachus for a ride? Is he actually a bad guy? You know? It's either way, it's not worth his life. We're not we're not gonna collect this bounty on his head. There's no way. That's not that's not in character. Uh, Telemachus is not gonna kill him. But he also can't in good faith give up 200 credits, and we're not going to. Don't worry. I won't tell anyone you're hiding here. Thank you. You've saved my life. At least until one of Davik's bounty hunters finds me. So, we get a journal entry for that. And, uh... Largo's bounty. A merchant named Largo owes a large sum of money to Davik Kang because he is unable to pay the debt. Largo has gone into hiding. In response, Davik has put an illegal bounty on his head. I guess it's illegal to put bounties on someone who just owes money. That's not that's not okay. I don't know how I feel about this now. Jeez. I'll tell you what, Telemachus wants to help this guy. He he wants to he wants to be beneficial to people, but he can't do it now. He can't take the risk that he's gonna need this money at some point, so if when he finds Bastila if Largo has managed to evade these bounty hunters until then, then he's going to help him. But until that point, I, I, I can't do it. I can't justify it as a player or a character, so I'm not going to do it. So we don't know if we're going to need this money. Get out of the way, Kurt. Ready. Here I am yes. trying to map the apartment. You're blocking me. A lot of beds in this apartment. Three for one guy. Bod. Not sure if we talked to you or not. Probably, probably did though. So that wraps up our business in the apartments, anyway. And uh, I think before we head out, we should probably change into our Sith armor since we're heading for the Undercity. Seems to be the only way we're going to get access. So, Karth. 
Not sure what we're gonna do about you, but hopefully uh, one of us is enough, and maybe maybe they won't recognize you at the elevator. But uh, until then, folks, I think that's gonna do it for this week's episode. This week's episode. This day's episode. Hey, look, we're standing at attention. That's pretty neat. Yeah, I think I think I think that's gonna do it, and uh, I hope you all enjoyed my justification of what I did last episode. I felt it needed to be done. It was, uh, it was very naughty of me to break a character, and yeah. It's, it's, it's sorted now as best as I can. At least until I, I inevitably cave, because that journal entry kind of changed my mind in an instant about what I thought about Largo. Just because Davik himself has no right to have this, have this bounty on Largo's head, it's not... It ain't, it ain't good. So... In any case, I will see you next time, folks.